Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you the jackpot counting system. And this is the missing link in your casino empire that you should build to attract even more customers and to really show that your casinos are fair to play, that people win jackpots and that you are a great casino owner. I don't know, <laughs> maybe that's what it says, but it's a ton of fun and it's a very nice show. As you saw in the preview, and of course this was again a viewer suggestion and this time I basically hit two flies with a clap. So that's why I just incorporated two comments into this build. So let's see. And the first comment is from scare for you and he wrote in German but uh, doesn't matter I can just translate it for you. And he basically said he wanted to have a counter that if anyone in any of his casinos doesn't matter where if he has like 10 casinos or so. If anyone wins, for example, a jackpot, that there should be a central counter that says how many jackpots are won. Like, for example, if there are three jackpots won so far, the counter should say three. And that's exactly what I built here. And the second comment is by GDog Gaming, and he says, Hey RT's World, I'm one of your subs, and to sum it up, he basically wants me to make a very complex machine that at some point shoots off red, blue and white, I guess, uh, fireworks for the United States. So he's maybe a US citizen, he's very, he's very patriotic, he likes the July the 4th. So that's why I incorporated the blue, white and red rockets into this build. And he also sent me cheers from the United States, so yeah, <laughs> cheers back. I really uh, tried to make it work that it looks nice and fancy. And I guess I figured out a way that it looks nice and fancy. So we have here these uh, emerald fountains in the front. And those emerald fountains are supposed to dispense emeralds upon a jackpot is one. And here beneath this carpet we have also the blue, the red and the white fireworks with some trails. So that's basically the front setup. We have also these lights that turn on and off and uh, make some music. And I've also just a surprise behind this jackpot banner here. So uh, I will spare that for later. And yeah, this video will as always consist out of two parts. In the first part, I will explain it to you. I linked even up a casino to win a jackpot. I will explain every circuit to you. And in the second part, we will build it together block by block. So you can incorporate this build in your casino empire or your ex existing casino build area. I don't know. And yeah, of course this build works in Java and Bedrock, so we have no specific Java um, redstone circuits here. Should work in all versions of Minecraft. So let's directly dive into this uh, video. First, I want to really quick go over to this machine here. You saw in the preview, this is my one in one million casino. And if you want to build this specific machine, which is a casino gambling machine, make sure to click the link in the info card section. I will link it there. And what it basically does is it has a one in one million chance to win um, this vault here. And this vault consists out of one of <laughs> 10,000 diamonds and some netherite armor, some creeper heads, some beacons and so on. And as we go here to the back, we can see usually we have uh, this one in one million chance, but for this tutorial and for this purpose only, I set all the odds to 100%. So usually there are eight non stackable, uh, there are eight stackable items in each of those droppers. And that's why there's this rather low chance usually, but for the sake of this tutorial, I just put there a stone sword. So it's 100% to guarantee the win. And that basically allows me to speed the process up by a factor of like <laughs> an infinite amount of time to win the jackpot over there. Then if you win the jackpot, you just have to hook each casino. You could have there like 20, 30, 50, doesn't matter casinos. And you just have to hook them up into a line that triggers if the jackpot is won. And this torch will um, light up if the jackpot is won. So we just grab that signal, transfer it right into our system here. So for each casino, I would recommend to link up one of those uh, droppers. So those droppers are completely filled with uh, any item, doesn't matter what it is. Could also be a non-stackable one. So you um, don't need to waste that much items, but I just choose light gray wool here. So all those lines are coming in. Here are just four other virtual casinos that if I press the button, they hit the jackpot. And what this system does is just uh, puts the items upwards into those hoppers. So if we follow this hopper, line we see that we end up here right in this dropper and this dropper is self-emptying with a timer circuit attached to it so i will go over that later but the self-emptying dropper at some point uh, pushes the item back up into this hopper and then it disperses or um, 
it uh, puts the items back where they originated into their usual dropper. So we have a closed loop system here. You don't need to insert any items at any point here again. So it's completely one time fill and then it's good. So if we have one item in here, we will trigger this, um, this timer here and this timer is set to 100 seconds. So usually we have around uh, 50 seconds per stack to move the items to the right and back to the left. That's why we have 100 seconds here. So the jackpot um, show or the, the show you saw in the preview will be spaced apart at least 100 blocks, even 100 blocks, 100 seconds, even if somebody wins a jackpot in casino A and in casino B there is also a jackpot win. So there are then two items in this self-emptying dropper here and it will be stored for later. And after 100 seconds, the second show will start. And what this system here basically does is it's it's completely overkill. You usually don't need it. But if someone wins a jackpot, like in 100 seconds of another jackpot, you make sure that you get the show twice and not once. And it will be counted twice and not once. So even if they win the exact same time, this uh, mechanism stores basically the information that there are two jackpots won and not only one, even if the signals arrive at the same time at your hoppers, uh, at your droppers here. So that system is a little bit overkill, I know, but uh, it prevents f if those rare cases from happening. And yeah, of course, if this uh, 100 second timer sets off, we power this comparator, we power this line, uh, retract the piston, so the timer can uh, stop at some point. And we also fire one item of, from this dropper back into the system where it originated. And I will show you how it works. Uh, but I just have to maybe mute <laughs> my sounds. So there are many note blocks here. Um, but what it uh, does is it uh, replaces all the items back. So I will show it now to you. So I place here two wool items in. So now the show started. And what we can see here very well is the timer is running, so we transfer all the items to the right. And we have one here left. I left it here uh, on purpose. We also started here a clock and this clock sets off at some point those lights, as we can see here. They go from bottom to top. And we have here a much longer clock that sets off here in the middle some uh, randomizers and with a 33% chance we move the wooden X into this hopper each each cycle the clock um, puts out a redstone signal. And by doing so, it reaches this block and this block is just connected to the fireworks dispenser and also the emerald dispenser right here. So with a 33% chance and we have eight of those dispensers since we have two emerald fountains, we get um, basically a positive outcome and trigger the droppers. And as we can see here, now the clock is basically moving the items back and I will speed it up very quickly for you that we don't have to wait the whole 100 seconds. So as soon as we hit here 64, we will trigger this whole contraption again. Let's see. Yeah, there it was. And we moved the second item back and they should be now collected right here um, since we have here uh, all the hoppers filled up. So that's how it works. And I will show you once more how this uh, randomizing system here works. So let's see if the clock pulse comes through. Yeah, now we got uh, this, 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 the wooden X and here we can see the clock a little bit better. Again, the wooden X. Make sure to look here at the right. Now we have the iron block, so we didn't get a rocket. And that's why we have here those eight um, hopper systems with the emeralds attached, randomized completely. So we get always a random amount of rockets and in a random color. So um, the last part I want to show you is the counting system. Here we have a very simple counter and this counter just counts the jackpots. So now we're at three since uh, we were at one as I started the video. So those two jackpots were added to the counting system. And as we can see here, uh, if we follow this blue line, we also trigger those um, rockets here once. And those are just purely filled with white, uh, red and uh, blue. That's what we see at the start of each of those uh, shows. So we see here in the floor, we see those dispensers fire some nice rockets for us. <clears throat> and with that explained, it leaves only one thing left. It is very special. So as you may notice, this counter only goes uh, to nine. So if we hit nine and then go back to zero, it will reset it. You could, for example, link here up many of those seven segment displays to get like 
two-digit jackpot counter, but I think one is sufficient since usually you don't hit the jackpots that often and you could implement a second display very easily. So if we hit here nine at some point, so I will just do that uh, manually. So that's that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, and that's nine. So now we are at nine and usually the 10th jackpot now will just start the normal show as always with the emeralds, with the lighting, with the rockets. But what it also does is the ninth one will move this cauldron here, which is filled with water, one block over, trigger this uh, comparator that just occurs once uh, every 10 jackpots. We follow the signal here up and we dispense a very nice selection of items on so netherite ingots, diamond blocks, netherite stars, uh, nether stars, sorry. And those are hidden here behind the jackpot uh, label. And yeah, that's my secret uh, jackpot uh, surprise price here. If someone gets to 10 jackpots, you, people will like wait here if there's a nine and wait for someone to win the jackpot or they play heavily and maybe share the items afterwards. But if we hit the 10th jackpot, we have the normal show. I won't trigger the show now again since it's very loud. And if we hit the 10th jackpot, in addition, we will get here nice items and we will get six of them. So let's see what we got this time. We got diamond block, nether star, two nether stars and another netherite ingot, another diamond block. So those six items were now dispensed. And that's basically for every 10th jackpot, we will get six of those items on top to the normal uh, emerald fountains and fireworks. But with that explained, I will now head directly into the block by block tutorial. So welcome to the block by block tutorial and don't be scared away. I just pre-built something here and I pre-built it and I will explain everything to you very well. So we first start with a 21 by 29 platform. So 21 in this direction, 21, uh, 29 in that direction. So now I will just uh, hover here at the top and maybe you just um, can pause the video at any point to build the features in there. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can customize it completely up to your wishes. Doesn't really matter how you exactly build this. It's just a decorative. And uh, one thing to notice is maybe that we have here five blocks that we set this uh, fountain inwards. And here it's uh, one, two, three, four, five as well, starting from those droppers. Um, the height of this uh, version is two, four, six, eight, ten blocks with ten blocks for the diamonds. And we have also here a spacing of seven blocks in the middle and here of five blocks for the other two um, basically displays with the lamps. And you, I, you can pause at any point again to just build it right like this. Here we have some stairs, doesn't matter how you place them, they're just decorative. And those banners you can download on the internet or create by yourself. So um, then we go over the droppers. Here are some, sorry, not droppers, dispensers. Very important, those have to be dispensers. Uh, in the dispensers there is the firework, here it's just white, here it's just red and here it's just uh, blue and I just cover them with white carpet so nobody sees it. Same goes for the other side, again here from the other side we have blue, uh, red and white so it's uh, mirrored. And then we have here those emerald fountains and those emerald fountains are equipped with red, blue and white uh, fireworks in there so we will randomly decide with the randomizer down there which of those fireworks will get um, pushed into the air. Those four dispensers are completely um, the same. And the same goes for the other fountain beneath the carpet, we have the same. Again, here on the, on the bottom, we have the emerald. This, this time it's droppers, doesn't need to be dispensers. Same goes for the other side, everything filled with emeralds. So, and with that said, now uh, I want to just make sure we place in all the remaining emeralds like this. like so and like so last one same goes for the other side like this then we can already fill in here some water and also cover them with corals i just chose to do that you don't need to do it of course so we fill the fountain and we place one here in this um, wall and if you're playing on a Minecraft version that does not uh, have these deep slate blocks, uh, make sure to use others, that's just for decoration. So, now these two fountains are fully working. 
and we can get rid of some of those items since we won't need them anymore. <clears throat> and now what I want to do is go behind the machine and we first build a seven segment display. Oh, I forgot something. The droppers here on the top, you can fill them with very nice prices. Those will be dispensed every 10th jackpot. So make sure to put there something valuable in. And now we start with a seven segment display. So we're gonna start here at the back and make sure to place in here those two redstone dust. Then we have here two of those blocks. We have here another block. We have repeater, comparator. Then we're gonna place right here a redstone torch, right here a block, right here a repeater, and here another redstone torch, like that. Next up, we want to go like this. Build here repeater, repeater, comparator. Again, we're gonna build repeater, repeater, comparator, and again, comparator, repeater, and three pieces of redstone like this. Then we go in the middle, place in here, repeater, repeater, comparator, again, repeater, repeater, comparator, and here we're gonna place comparator, block, uh, redstone dust, um, block. Here we're gonna place a block, place a repeater, and now we can already start with the green wool. So we're gonna go down like this. Then we're gonna grab a sticky piston here, a repeater, a block, another block, repeater, like this, one, two, three, three pieces of redstone. Here repeater set to four ticks. Then we're gonna place in here our input signal, which should be there. And uh, next up, we're gonna place in here a block, with a repeater set to one tick, two pieces of block, another redstone dust, here another block, redstone dust, redstone dust, like so. And now we can already place in the pistons. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna go right here. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The third column will be right here. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last one will be right here, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Like this. Next up, we grab some glass uh, blocks, water and cauldrons. So we wanna do with the glass first. So it's just like this. Then we're gonna go like that and here like this and we will replace this one glass block with a cauldron and some water in there. Then we want to grab some cauldrons like so. Here a block. Cauldron, 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 cauldron. We're gonna fill all of them with water like so. Then for the next row we're gonna use glass, cauldron, cauldron, glass, cauldron, 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 glass, Cauldron, cauldron. Fill everything with water. For the next row, we're gonna start here with a block, another block, another block, another block, another block. Then we're gonna place here cauldron, 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 glass, and we fill everything with water. Next row, we're gonna start with uh, some block, glass, glass, and cauldrons everywhere else, like this. Next, we're gonna use block, 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 cauldron, 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 and another block, and we fill those with water. Next, we're gonna use um, very many cauldrons here, block, here a glass, here are some cauldrons, and we're gonna fill all of them up like this. And for the last row, we're gonna use a block, a block, two cauldrons, another cauldron, another cauldron, another cauldron, another cauldron, and another cauldron. And it should look like this. Next up, we're gonna get down here and place right next to this redstone here a comparator. And that's the output what we need later. We're gonna use here some white wool. Here we're gonna have a repeater set to three ticks, uh, redstone dust and some observers and those observers will just trigger those droppers right on the top like this. 
So with that done, now we can already build in here some nice blocks alternating to the top and we're gonna use some redstone dust here and a staircase that looks like this and we're gonna place in some repeaters right over there. Next we want to go right here and place here some blocks, there some blocks and here some repeaters, all of them set to four ticks and here we want to grab some redstone dust and place it like that. So for the back side we're gonna use just a very simple staircase that looks like this. Perfect. And for the last side we want to just um, use some blocks that look like this and we want to have some redstone on top of each of them. Then some blocks in between like this. So that's where all our repeaters will go. And then we want to grab ourselves as another staircase that should look like this. Oh, that was the wrong block. Like so. Just a minor fix. If you go to the uh, digit six, we have to replace here this glass block uh, on this side with a cauldron and a bucket and that should fix it so it's really a six, <laughs> sorry. And if you go to seven, that's the second fix we need to do then since I misplaced uh, those blocks, we need to remove the cauldron and place in the glass block so it's really a seven afterwards. Now with the one uh, misplacement fixed, we can now get here, place here repeater set to four ticks with some blue wool, then we're gonna go one, two, three, we have here repeater, two pieces of redstone, another piece of um, redstone dust on a block and here we're gonna place in another gray wool. We're gonna go down like this and here will be our dropper that is self-emptying. And the self-emptying dropper will just now get here a repeater set to two ticks. We're gonna get here a piston, sticky one, another repeater set to two ticks. Then we're gonna have right there another sticky piston, like so. And here we're gonna have a comparator, here we're gonna have a redstone repeater, here we're gonna have a redstone torch, we're gonna have some redstone dust like that. And from here on, we just um, place another block, comparator facing into this block, two hoppers facing into each other, two composters to cover them. And then we're gonna need ourselves here, sorry, here a redstone torch, two pieces of redstone dust, another torch, and then we can already place in here two of those light gray wool. Next up we wanna place in here a comparator, here a repeater, and we're gonna make here a connection. And we're gonna also place in here one block up, remove the block on the bottom and get some yellow wool. So that's our output line, like so. Now I'm gonna get some pre-filled um, droppers and I wanna space them here, like one, two, three, four, five, five inputs, they're all completely filled. Same goes for, oops, same goes for those hoppers. Those are also completely filled. Now I can remove them. So those are completely full with wool. So we want to do like this. So. Now everything should be get funneled backwards and now we just need here hoppers that collect all the items coming from those ones. I put composters on there to reduce lag, you don't need that obviously if you don't want to do it. So, or if you don't have composters in your version of Minecraft. So that's where all the inputs will be afterwards. So for example, you could have here an input, there an input, here an input and so on. And maybe also like here one, it doesn't really matter how you do it, but that's all the inputs you could have. I just place here some, so one, two, three and four and five. So now we should have four in there since one got already um, moved back into the system. And now we just started the clock. And I can uh, dramatically reduce this by, for example, replacing here one stack with nothing. And now this uh, clock mechanism should fire five times since I pressed all the five inputs. 
and it should also do it with the counter. So now there's one and at the end there should be a five. Let's wait a few seconds. So there's now a five and that means all of our um, counting is done and I just uh, turned it down a lot to like eight items to get it a little bit faster. And now everything should be filled up completely again since everything is recycled. So with that done, now we can already place in here some observers and some node blocks. And we're gonna start right here. So we would have here observers, like so. Then we would have node blocks on top, like this. Then some uh, blocks on top to prevent them from firing. And now we want to add in the node blocks that play the sounds that are now here, like this. And there we're gonna need some iron blocks beneath them. And now we can just adjust the pitch. So we have zero, two, four, and six uh, clicks respectively. And if we now place in here the redstone, we can see that everything should work. And we're gonna repeat this uh, exact on the other side as well. And just a quick uh, reminder for the right side, I just placed over this one block so this node block can make its sound nicely. So with that done, we can now place in here our redstone clock. And we're just gonna do it with a comparator, then repeater, repeater, both that set to full delay. And now we want to just connect this uh, line here so three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so here should be a repeater at some point and here should be also a block uh, linking that up so the first clock is now done the second one will be the orange one and for the orange one we will first um, place here some nice links like this. Here's some blocks and we're gonna do one, two, three, four ticks and four ticks and zero ticks like this. Same goes for the other side as well. So repeat a four ticks, repeat a four ticks again and then just link everything up. And now we're gonna do a contraption that looks like this. And if we go to the other side, we can now take this uh, output, remove this block here, and we're gonna just block right into here, since we need to fire this only once. So, uh, the last part is now here, the randomizing part. We're gonna just place in comparators like this, some redstone dust, some pre-filled droppers, they should look like this, so 33%. Hopper on top, hopper on top, and same goes for the other side. Comparator, comparator, redstone dust, and some droppers with some hoppers attached to them. That's not the right direction. Like this, go to the other side. Do it here as well. And last but not least, the last side. And here we're gonna do the same stuff. Like this, all those droppers are completely filled the same. So with that done, now we can place in here some repeaters. And we're gonna place here some repeaters and some redstone dust here. We're gonna do two ticks. And here, now we want to do, go around like that. Um, now we want to do here a contraption that looks like this. We're gonna place in here a redstone dust, here a block, here a repeater, there's some redstone. Then we're gonna go over one block like this. A block repeater then 
we need this output here like that and the last one which will be right here and now we're gonna do the same on the other side so this time we mirror it so we come now from this side like this then here so many misplacements oh no Peter and again repeater redstone oh that's not right <laughs> that's not right um repeater block block and another repeater right here and some redstone in between so that's now done and now we want to just uh, have here two tick repeater one two two tick repeater and here we're gonna just say repeaters all the way like this and now we want to connect these sides up so we have a three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen here we're gonna set another repeater here we're gonna have some normal redstone here we have repeaters set to two ticks and then we connect everything up like this now the one thing that's missing is the last clock and with the last one we just gonna grab ourselves a comparator and here is some redstone dust and then we're gonna go one two three one two three and with that done we can now place in here the redstone dust and we just connect it up right over here and now it's testing time so we have now on our counter we have five and i just press any of those inputs so someone wins a jackpot We get the six, we get the fireworks, and we get the random fireworks. We get the emerald fountain, since we have here some... Do we get already some emeralds? Yes, there are some emeralds. So let's enjoy the show once more. Nice. So that was the redstone uh, show, that was the jackpot counter. And I hope you had fun. Um, I really tried my best to make it as appealing as possible for your customers and I really tried to improve the design but of course that's completely customizable. What you do here is completely up to you. That's just an example of how it could look like. The main part of this machine is of course here this counting system that counts reliably all the jackpots together with the seven segment display. Just one short reminder, if you encountered any mistake or any error during your redstone building phase, make sure to head over to the video description. There's a word download link and there you can uh, maybe find a mistake or play around with this world. It's completely free. Make sure to download it if you want to play around a little bit with my jackpot counter. And with that said, I really thank you for the uh, suggestions, especially for our suggestors here. If you like what I do, make sure to subscribe and give a like on this video. And if you really want to support me, make sure to head over to Patreon and become a Patreon supporter as well. So with that said, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.